This is a bit of an impromptu video. My friend Andrew and I really wanted to do a photo shoot together and we found a little break this week to do it. He also has his own YouTube channel, which I will link in the description so you can go and check that out. But basically, yeah, we're gonna go and do a photo shoot around Sheffield where we both live, inspired by Wes Anderson films. We found a few really nice locations in Sheffield that are very much symmetrical and have that nice palette. But I have been charged with the styling element and I thought that could actually be quite a fun little video to make. Shop through my wardrobe, things I've already got, and put together, not costumes and not replications, but like Wes-inspired outfits. So with the whole shoot, we don't just wanna recreate scenes, we just wanna take that inspiration. It's a bit more flexible that way, it's a bit more realistic, and it's a bit more fun for me as well. So, uh, with that in mind, the locations we've got are the glorious pavilion at the Botanical Gardens, which I am fairly sure has featured on Accidentally Wes Anderson before. There's the Lyceum building, which if you haven't seen it, big Grand Budapest vibes. And then what else we got? There's the Henderson's building. Um, Henderson's, if you're not familiar, is a sort of cult relish in our city. But as I was saying, there's their old factory, which is just a gorgeous building with that beautiful orange front. Uh, and then what's the last one? Oh, the last one's really cool. It is a chocolate shop on one of the sort of nice streets full of independent shops. They used to have this like bright turquoise and pink shop front, but they've toned it down a little, but it's still super pink. So Maggie wants to be in the video. Just give me a minute. You stop, get down, get down, get down. So you've got a pink confectioners, um, which just screams Mendel's. So my task now is to go up to my wardrobe and pull a few outfits out, put them together. Again, not copying, but focused on being inspired by the characters and the palettes of the film. So yeah, I'm gonna head up to the wardrobe and get started. <laughs> So I had a great day shooting with Andrew yesterday. I think we were both right on the same page about how we wanted the images to look and the locations we'd picked were great. So if this goes well, I think we might look at doing a few other locations that we both liked, um, but just didn't have time to do yesterday. But I think the four we did do are amazing. What I wanna do is because I made a few little changes and one big change to the outfits I had planned, I'm gonna go through them now and actually break down what I wore why I love it and where I sort of got the vibe from for that shot. I'll do them in order. So if we start with the Botanical Gardens, it's such a, it's such an amazing building. It kind of didn't really need me in the shot, but there I was. So as I might have mentioned earlier, it was the Richie Tenenbaum vibe. It was the tennis polo and that sort of, that look. Again, I didn't want to copy it exactly. So we omitted the headband didn't do too much, but I'm so happy with how these ones turned out. Now, this is the only piece of new clothing I bought, not with the intent of doing this video, not specifically for this video, but the video did prompt me into making a purchase of something that was already on my wish list. I talked about wish listing on my Instagram recently, but I think I'm gonna do a full video here on it as well. I'm such a, a winter baby when it comes to clothes. I love thick, heavy, layered outfits. So my wardrobe is pretty lacking when it comes to spring and summer essentials. But the great thing about wishlisting is that I'd already done all the legwork when it came to making a decision about which polo to get. I think it really completed the vibe and it works so well with the pavilion behind it. And then I went for the sunglasses because obviously Richie never takes his off in the film. And also we did a few shots with my little camera because of that it's one of my favorite shots in the film where he's just stood there taking the photo, kind of, yeah, like that. And then next we moved down to the chocolate shop, which wasn't far from the Botanical Gardens, which by the way, I'd never been to before. I've always eyed it up because it's such a great looking building, but the hot chocolate. 
But what I hadn't noticed when I was looking at the pictures or when I'd driven past was the amazing floor. So I was really tempted to switch up and put the canter jacket on for this just because it kind of looked like the floor. But then we thought it'd be a bit much. So I stuck with my original sort of Agatha inspired idea of beige trench coat, baby blue shirt. I mean, it's more of a gray, but it's there's, there's flecks of blue in it. So it kind of worked. And then obviously with the trousers and the shoes, so you've got this really bright, colourful shop and then a very bland outfit, which is exactly what Wes did with Agatha in Grand Budapest, and it just makes her stand out even more. Everyone else is in colours complementary to the bright purples and greens, but it is that beige that just stands out. So that's what we went for there, and this worked so well. We kept the chocolate in as a little prop, just because I thought it was something nice to hold on to. And also I want to thank Holly here, whose Mac I borrowed to get this shot, because I really think it was that beige Mac that makes it. So next we move on to the Lyceum, which has huge Grand Budapest vibes, really lovely windows and shapes, and the colours are just so sort of bold but muted, um, which I'm really into. But because I'd already done the Agatha style outfit at the chocolate shop, I wanted to do something a little different here and go for more of a, a bold vibe to match the building, but still contrast it. So obviously to do that, it had to be the counter jacket. It's got those muted colors, but the bold geometry and it, it just made sense. There's no particular Wes film or outfit here that inspired this one. It was more just the colors and the vibe that we were getting but I still think there was an opportunity to do some really cool Wes-ish portraits. So I'm really looking forward to how those came out. Probably the one I have the least to say about, but also potentially could be one of the best color wise and palette wise. The final shot was in front of the Henderson's building. Uh, when we got there, there was a van, which uh, luckily was just leaving. So <laughs> we managed to get the full shot in, which could have been quite disappointing, but I was originally gonna wear my sort of like green outfit just because I'd tried in my really bad photoshopping to put a, a blue and orange outfit against the building and it just seemed to blend a bit too much and be a bit, bit meh. But then I just decided on the day, last minute, to brighten that outfit up a bit, lose the parka, go for the Breton shirt and the orange hat which obviously, whilst it's not the exact sort of like shade of blue or with the trainers or any, is the Steve Zissou vibe. We just wanted like a nautical vibe to go with this, even though it's nothing to do with the sea. So orange hat, no brainer, Breton shirt, and then the k dungarees. But essentially what I'm doing here is completely ripping off one of my favorite photos I've seen on Instagram recently, which was a shot of Tom Shilton by John Hersey. He stood at the docks in, well, dungarees and a hat and stuff, but he has the great little pocket around him for his phone. So I stole Holly's Paula Kirkwood bag and wore that around my front as well, just as a bit of visual interest for the photo. It's an amazing outfit. Tom's really cool. John Hersey is a photographer, amazing. You should go check out his Instagram as well. But yeah, that outfit, probably one of my favorite of the day. It's a bit outlandish. It was really stood out against the sort of dull orange. But I think these shots worked so well. I think this might have been Andrew's favorite outfit as well. This was a much more simple background and a much less sort of tied in theme, but I wanted to get that Steve Zizou hat in just because I've got an orange hat, it had to be done. So yeah, those were the outfits I put together. I didn't want to go into too much detail about specific items, but if you want to know what anything was, let me know down in the comments. Also, let me know what your favorite outfit and favorite shot was. I'll be sharing these all over Instagram as well if you want to see them in more detail. And obviously you have to check out Andrew's video with the behind the scenes of this shoot, which I'm really excited to watch. But yeah, if you want to see these images in more detail, head on over to my Instagram. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. It really does help me know what sort of videos to make next. And obviously, if you want to see more of Maggie, then uh, hit the subscribe button for her. It's what she really wants you to do. Isn't that right? You want them to subscribe? <laughs>